Farming remains one of the most dangerous jobs in America. Recent national data shows each year one in three farmers will have an accident that will put them in the hospital. WCCO's John Lordson recently met up with a Minnesota family who's experienced that statistic firsthand. Tonight, he shares their message for fellow farmers. Farming is really unique in that in most cases, you live where you work and work where you live. This farm near Lesseur is where Emily Krekelberg lived and worked. She's now a farm safety educator for University of Minnesota Extension. But her experiences growing up are why she does what she does. I let people into my family's darkest days so they can kind of learn how to avoid that. She's talking about what happened to her father, Dale, and her brother, Jake. Each lost a limb to a farm auger. Dale's accident happened before his kids were even born. December 19th, 1972 at 9.30 a.m., I got caught in a feed auger, just basically tore my leg off. So I was in the hospital, and in a split second, my life changed. Nearly 50 years later, Jake suffered a similar fate. My son actually had just been born about a week before. Took me in, and I mean, I knew almost instantly that it was that I was gonna lose my arm. Both men talk of determination. Jake was back to feeding his steers just three days after his accident. Dale still climbs over cattle gates to do his chores. For the last 50 years, when I get up in the morning, I put on my wool sock and my nylon and I stick this piece of wood on my body and I walk around with it all day. Despite their resiliency, both men would love to have a redo on their fateful days and they rely on Emily to help get that message across. This might be something you've done a hundred times, a thousand times, a million times, but it only takes one time. She says despite advancements in safety, many farmers can't afford upgrades and are still using equipment from the 70s and 80s. Oftentimes, they retrofit something, sacrificing safety to meet a deadline, but with deadly consequences. A lot of farmers still use older tractors that may not have a cab or what we call a ROPS, a rollover protective structure. So uh, a lot of fatalities we see in farming are due to tractor rollovers. Power takeoffs and augers are notorious for being powerful and unforgiving. And the statistics surrounding children are alarming. It's worse for kids. Um, every three days, a child dies on a farm in the U.S. Emily says human error is often to blame, and her family would agree. You know you adapt to it because you have to. I can't remember what it's like to have two arms. I can't even imagine what it is to, to run. I mean, I just, I remember having a memory of it, like maybe she has a memory of that, but like, you know, it's just something that's after 50 years, especially, it's just kind of lost. With fall harvest ahead, the Krekelbergs help others heed their warning. Balers, combines, discs, and grinders are part of farm life. Taking your time and treating those machines with respect can mean the difference between life and death. It does not matter how big or fast or strong you think you are. Farm equipment is always going to be bigger, faster, and stronger. Always. In Lesseur County, John Lordson, WCCO News. Even though farmers are often in a hurry, Emily urges them to leave safety features intact when working on equipment. She also wants to remind people that the Department of Agriculture offers rebate programs to help with the purchase of safer equipment.